Hello, I'm Minister M.G. Mays, and this is Faith Revival Place International. Um, let's start off by uh, prayer. Thank you, Father God. We come to you in prayer. We praise you, give you glory, honor, and praise as the supreme God of all creation. We thank you as we study more about salvation. And we thank you and praise you in the name above all names, Yeshua HaMashiach, Adonai, Jesus. Amen. Okay, today's sermon is uh, Delivery of a Salvation, Saul to Paul. And we're going to uh, go uh, in the scripture of Acts chapter 9, verse 1 and 2, and also 3 and 6. And the word of God says, Meanwhile, Shalom, which is Hebrew for uh, Saul and Paul as well, uh, still breathing uh, murderous threats against the Lord's Tahim, uh, went in, uh, to the Kohim Haggadah, which means high priest, and asked him for a letter to, uh, to the synagogue in Damascus, authorizing him to arrest any people he might find, whether men or women, who belong to the way, the bring, bringing them back to uh, Jerusalem. Next thought, he was on the, the road near Damascus when he s suddenly a light from heaven flashed all around him. Falling to the ground, he heard a voice saying to him, Shalom! Shalom, why do you keep persecuting me? Sir, who are you? He asked. I am Yeshua. You are persecuting me. But get up and go into the city and you will be told what you have to do. So here's, here's a man named Saul that's going to become Paul in Hebrew, Shalom. Um, that is going to be totally turned around 360 degrees as we uh, go on and uh, this is another form of God's salvation reaching out to someone that used to uh, totally be a tyrant to the righteous of God and turn them around into uh, a very righteous man himself um, so let us go on uh, we're pretty much going to stay, stay in uh, chapter 9 here. Uh, next uh, thought we're going to look at is Acts chapter 9, verse 10 through 16. And the Word of God says, There was a, t uh, a Tohim uh, in uh, Damascus, um, Hen Henel by name, and in the vision, the Lord said to him, Henya, he says, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go straight to the city of Judah's uh, uh, house, and ask for the man from Tarus named Shalu, for he is praying. And a vision he has seen, a man named uh, Henaniah. And coming in the place, uh, his hand on him and restore his sight. But Hananiah uh, answered, Lord, may many have told me about this man, how much harm he has done to the people of Jerusalem, and there he has a warrant for the head of the Kohen to arrest anyone who calls on your name. But the, the Lord said to him, Go! Because this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name to the go go in, even to the, their kings and the sons of Israel as well. For I myself will show him how much he will have to suffer on account of my name. So, you know, this, this is... Uh, the uh, continual, continuing salvation of the Lord. 
you know he got a hold of Saul this and and brought him into the revelation that he's persecuting the righteous and and the ones that he is with are aren't righteous but they are um, proclaiming a, a falseness of the trueness that God is bringing out there that Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus um, died on the cross for as well as Genesis Revelation has to, to say about those things from the Tanakh to Revelations so uh, let's uh, go on uh, we're going to go uh, to Acts uh, chapter uh, Nine uh, verse um, seventeen through nineteen a, and the word of God says, "So Hananiah left and went into the house, placing his hand on him. He he said, Brother Shalom, uh, the Lord Yeshua." The one who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, he sent me so that you may s see again and be filled with the Ruach Hadash, the, the Spirit of the Holy God. In the moment, someone like uh, like uh, scales fell away from a shallow's eyes, and he could see again. He got up and was immersed, and then he ate some food and regain his strength see and that's a healing is another form of his of the salvation of our God and now we're going to read uh, Acts chapter 9 verse 19b through 22 in the conclusion Saul spent some days with the Tehim of Damascus and immediately he began to proclaim and the synagogue that Yeshua is the Son of God. All who heard him were amazed. They answered, Isn't this the man in Jerusalem? Wasn't tried uh, to destroy the people who called on the name? In fact, isn't that why he called here to be arrest uh, them, to bring them back to the head team? But Shalim was uh, being filled with more and more power and was created an uproar among the Jews living in Damascus where the proof that Yeshua is the Messiah. So there, there um, it's a beautiful story of God's salvation of redeeming someone that was trying to harm the righteous of God both those that are coming into the fold and those that are ready and so my prayer is that we take a hold on these things and we recognize the grace of God on these things now for any of you that need to accept Yeshua as the Messiah today both uh, from Israel or from other more parts of the world you just have to pray this prayer and mean it with all your heart because the Lord Yeshua loves you and greatly and he is coming soon so be prepared and to to be part of his bride by accepting him accepting from Genesis to Revelation the glory of God's word and might just pray this prayer dear God I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you, Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. May the shalom of God, completeness that brings you into peace, that only comes from God, be with you all. Shalom.